Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie, and let's get started. For DIY number one, I'm going to take two packs of these mini gingerbread men from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to go in with the apple barrel paint and the color nutmeg. And also I'm going to use these two tulip puffy paints. One is just a regular white puffy paint and the other one has glitter in it. So I'm just going to paint these up all in different patterns. And no two will be alike. So I'll be using all of these today. And now I'm going to take four of these jars that I'm going to repurpose. They were jars of olives. And here I'm just going to pour a little bit of Mod Podge in each cup, also some white paint, and a little bit of water. And now I'm going to cover these on the inside to make it look like a foam milk. And I'm just going to take this red and white gingham ribbon and wrap the top part of, this, of these jars to make it look like glasses of milk. And of course, decorate them cute for Christmas. And also add a little bow the front and I'll do this to all four of my little jars and now I'm going to take these large jumbo straws from Amazon and these cute little gingerbread men I'll just add them to embellish the cups of milk milk and cookies and this is how they look and a closer look at the final reveal this video is a part of the baking spirits bright collaboration with my friend Chantel from crafty hints here is a preview of her channel she does all kinds of seasonal decor. Here's a year's worth of videos for her. She does quite a few videos and including Christmas from last year. She's got a ton in here of regular traditional Christmas, gingerbread DIYs as well, and all kinds of goodies. So when you're done watching my video, please head on over to my description box. Click the link to her channel, to her video for today. And enjoy her video give her a subscribe and let her know I sent you for DIY number two I'm going to begin with three of these canisters from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove all the lids and here I'm going to go in with some of this beautiful red foil vinyl from tech wrap craft and I'm just going to remove these pieces that I cut out with my Cricut and they are just different types of peppermints and with the help of the transfer tape, I'll add these to the lids of these canisters to make them super festive and family friendly because these canisters are all plastic. So here I'm just removing the transfer tape and this vinyl works wonderfully. It's beautiful and it's so easy to use. So now I'll go ahead and add these other two to the other two lids. And as you can see, any kind of design, peppermint design or swirl works perfectly, works great. And on these circular pieces as well. So here I do the three all together. And now I'm going to lay them on their sides and I'm going to add these words. One says candy canes, one says chocolates, and one says peppermints. And this is some more of the tech wrap vinyl, so it's going to be beautiful. So I'm just going to add this to the fronts of my canisters. This one's the chocolate. And then here's all three. Now I'm going to take some Baker's twine and I'm just going to wrap this around the front of these canisters just to make it a little more festive and create a cute little bow. And now to embellish it a little bit more, of course, I've got to use my cute little gingerbread men. And I just do two on each canister just to make it more festive and adorable. And I just adhere them with hot glue. And hot glue holds them just fine. But look how adorable. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. And here's how they look and a closer look at the fun reveal. For DIY number three, here is a new box of vinyl that was sent to me by Tech Wrap Crafts. And these are heat transfer vinyls. So we're going to have so much fun with these. The others were just regular sticky vinyl. But these heat transfers, they are not sticky at all. Just the plastic that holds them is sticky. And we're going to use them together. Look at these beautiful colors. And here, this pack here 
has some patterned vinyl and look at these they have Christmas ones all kinds of patterns beautiful oh my goodness these are so gorgeous and for this video I'll be using this one right here I'll be using it for one of my projects but they're all super cute and they all come in one pack how wonderful make sure to check out my description box for all their coupon codes and deals if you're interested in checking them out all their information will be in my description box but look how cute oh my goodness these are so cute <laughs> i know i keep saying cute but i can't help it they're beautiful and then these are also he transfer these bright colors adorable now for this video i'll be using this brown one sparkly one this white one and this red one of course all heat transfer so now I'm going to begin with this red shimmery transfer vinyl and you have to put the shiny side down and I went ahead and made some cuts with my Cricut and let's see what I made what do you guys think I made let's see we're gonna pull off the excess vinyl and obviously this is like a circle now if you're guessing peppermint you are correct <laughs> and as you can see it's super easy to weed and it's not sticky at all just the transfer tape is so now here I am taking these plain white pillowcases throw pillowcases that I purchased off of Amazon and I'm just going to lay them down on my heat pad and these pillowcases have a really nice zipper on the bottom so it's really easy to use so now I'm going to take my easy press and I'm just going to iron out these pillowcases and here is my heat transfer design that I created with my Cricut. So I'm just going to press this down and using my easy press at 275 for 10 seconds, I will hold it down on each section of my peppermint because this peppermint design is pretty large. So I'm just basically doing like four quadrants or so for each and each at 10 seconds. So now I need to let this cool. Once this is cool, I can remove the transfer tape and I just peel it up. Now this transfer tape is very sticky and if you let go for a minute, it'll come back down and get stuck to your pattern, to your design, but no worries. As long as it's heat set, it'll just come up just fine. So here we go. It's all off, worked great. And look how adorable, oh my goodness, I love this. And here's a second one because of course I've got to make two pillows at least and now I'm going to create a quick little t-shirt and I'm using this glittery brown vinyl so of course the shiny side's got to go down on the Cricut mat and since I did words on this one I had a mirror on the image now here I went ahead and removed the excess because the stuff is gold so we don't want to waste any of it so here I'm going to remove all the excess vinyl and as you can see it just comes off really easily you don't have to be too careful with it it's not difficult to use you just remove it super simple and like I mentioned this since it's heat transfer vinyl the vinyl itself is not sticky the stickiness will activate with the heat press so it's really easy to use now here I'm just gonna weed out the rest of these little pieces here and there super easy to weed especially with these weeding pens they're super cool and so here it says home sweet home here's the t-shirt that I picked up at the Dollar Tree yes they have nice t-shirts and this is a woman's scoop neck t-shirt and it's 100% cotton so this definitely needs a little bit of ironing to begin with now here is some of the patterned heat transfer vinyl that was sent to me and I'm just going to heat set this 275 for 10 seconds and do both sections top and then the bottom allow it to cool once it's cool then I remove the transfer tape that's on it like this now here is my home sweet home I'm gonna I'm going to place this on top and I'm also going to up the temp to 320 and I'll do 10 seconds allow this to cool completely and then remove the plastic off this 
and look how wonderful oh my goodness it's so beautiful and here are my pillowcases and here is my t-shirt for DIY number four I'm going to take some more of this heat transfer vinyl this one's in a shimmery white and I cut out a really cute phrase for Christmas and as you can see all the vinyl comes up super easy and weeding it is a breeze as well now this vinyl says Christmas calories don't count and I just thought that this phrase was super appropriate for the kitchen and gingerbread DIYs because yeah Christmas calories do not count no way it's time for some decadence and some yumminess <laughs> and now I'm just going to use one of these red pot mitts from the Dollar Tree and add my little phrase and set my heat press at 325 for 10 seconds allow this to cool completely and now remove it and look how gorgeous and I'll do the same thing to a regular oven mitt and I also do some pot holders which I don't show here but I did pot holders as well and allow this to dry completely remove this plastic and now with this one it didn't seem like it adhered as well as the other I think because of the texture of the oven mitt so I'm just going to use a piece of parchment paper and I'm just going to press down on this with my heat press and now it adhered much better so now here is a super cute apron that I purchased off of Amazon and I'm just going to use my easy press again to help with the wrinkles and it didn't seem like it took it off very easily this apron is pretty thick in the fabric and here with my Cricut and some more of this vinyl I cut out this phrase that says Mrs. Claus cookie company baking spirits bright and look how gorgeous oh my goodness this is so cute and here's how the kitchen set looks and here's the apron and a closer look at the final reveal for DIY number five I am taking two of these wood rounds from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take one and cut it in half I'm going to use my angle ruler because it's metal and I'm going to take my utility knife make sure this blade is good and sharp and I'm just going to score this a few times and since this wood is pretty thin this works perfectly fine to cut it in half here it is cut in half I'm going to use the larger of these halves and I'm going to sand off any excess and remove any excess of the splintering wood sanding it off again so now I'm going to take some of these wood cubes and I'm going to paint this all in a white chalk paint by folk art and now I'm going to take two more of these large peppermints that I cut out with my Cricut and this is the regular vinyl not the heat transfer type so I'm just going to cut these little notches so I know what the tops are and now I'm going to remove the backing and place one of these on the circle and I'd like to reuse my transfer tape that's why it's looking a little bit rough <laughs> So here I'm just going to make sure it's all adhered well and just remove the transfer tape and reveal the super cute red shimmery vinyl. This is so adorable. Oh my goodness. I think this is just beautiful. So here it is. And if there's any little bumps, it's because the wood has some few little blemishes here and there. It's got nothing to do with the vinyl. The vinyl is pretty cute. So here's my other half. And now I can place these two where they match up and you'll see why in a minute so I'm going to place them where they match up perfectly place my bottom piece of round on top and with my pen I'm going to mark off where I need to cut it because I'll be cutting this round in half as well so here I'm just going to snip off what I don't need and this half round is just going to have a half round of a peppermint round and here's my transfer tape again looking a little rough but hey 
it works and I'm just going to use it until I just can't use it anymore. <laughs> so now here is my half round and I'll place this on my wood half round and make sure it's nice and smooth and remove the transfer tape and look how cute super adorable oh my goodness this is so beautiful and now with using my Cricut again and the regular type of vinyl by Tech Wrap, I'll be using some black shimmery vinyl just to make sure all the words pop really well and this one says take one or do the dishes you choose and this is going to be a paper plate holder for the kitchen so yeah it'll be a peppermint and gingerbread themed piece for the holidays because who wants to do dishes in the holidays no thanks <laughs> and now i'm going to flip over this bottom piece and i'm just going to use my little white cubes and i'm going to double them up and place them on the back with some of this super wood glue from the Dollar Tree and a little bit of hot glue. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of Mod Podge, give them a nice coat because this will be going in the kitchen. And now I'm going to use some of this red and white Baker's Twine to create my hanger. And I'll just poke it through the holes and create a double knot to make sure it's nice and secure. And I'll do this to both sides. And like I said, I'm just going to make a double knot. That way it won't come out. So here's my hanger. So now I'm going to take some of this really pretty peppermint swirl ribbon from Walmart. It's a nice big spool that I found. I'm also happy to find it because I love it. I think it's adorable. And I'm just going to create a quick bow just to shoelace bow type of bow nothing too fancy zip off the excess dovetail the ends of course make it look super cute and adhere this to the top with some hot glue and of course fluff up the bow like this and that allow that glue to set and now here is my bottom portion and I'm going to go back in with the super glue wood glue, add a few dabs here and there to each of these little pieces. And I'm just going to place this on top on the bottom and allow it to set overnight. But before that, I'll add a couple of the little gingerbread men, of course, because they just go together. And now here I'm just going to add some paper plates and here's how it looks. And a closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number six, I found these new wood slices from the Dollar Tree. They had these rectangular shapes and some rounds. And for this DIY, I'll be using the rectangular shape. So now here I'm going to go in with my folk art white chalk paint. And I'm just going to do a really light dry brushing. I really like the pattern of the wood grain and the sides of the bark on these pieces. So I just wanted something really light like this. Once it's dry, I use my Cricut again to create this little phrase that says Baking Spirits Bright with some of the red foil vinyl, just a regular vinyl from the Tech Wrap. And here I'm just removing the backing, really easy to use, and placing this piece on my wood, my wood slice like this. So now I'm just going to remove the backing, of course. And I had a little bit of an issue with transferring all these pieces, all these letters onto this wood slice. And I'm thinking it's because I had dry brushed everything with some chalk paint and I probably should have done a thin layer of Mod Podge. That probably would have helped a little bit better. So take a note for the future. <laughs> but now here I did do the Mod Podge just to seal it all up. Now I'm taking these hooks and I got these at Walmart and I'm just going to take four and I'm going to add these hooks to my wood slice and you just twist it on there. You don't need a drill or anything. Just keep twisting it till they go in. And I did this to all four like this. And now I'm going to take some cute ribbon with the peppermint stripes on them 
and I'm just going to adhere them to the tops where the hanger is. I'm not going to switch out the hanger. I'm just going to leave it like it is. And now, of course, I've got to add a couple of these cute gingerbread kids in the very center. That's why I didn't put a hanger there in the center. I thought they would be cute right here in the middle. And now here I'm going to go in with these utensils from the Dollar Tree. And this one here is just a regular spatula. And then this one here is a whisk. And this one is a slotted spatula or turner. And then this one is a spoon. And they all fit on there pretty nicely. Now I'm going to add two more of these little gingerbread guys. And I'm just going to use some E6000 because these utensils are made of a silicone and silicone and hot glue does not last <laughs> ask me how i know <laughs> so i'm just going to add a little bit a little bit of e6000 to adhere them onto the spoon and the turner which is the spatula with the slotted pieces on it <laughs> and here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal if you're on instagram i invite you to come follow me there also on tiktok here is my Pinterest and my handle. I have a Facebook group called Family and Budget Friendly Crafting World. And now we're at the final reveal. Let me know what you guys think. I'd like to take a moment and thank Tech Wrap Crafts for sending me some more vinyl. These heat transfer vinyls were super easy to use and were very enjoyable to include in my projects today. I really like the way they all came out and like I said they were super simple to use and if you're interested in learning more about their vinyls, the regular and the heat transfer ones, all their links will be in my description box if you're interested to check them out. And I also like to thank Chantel from Crafty Hints for collaborating with me and doing some fun gingerbread DIYs. Well, mine were gingerbread and peppermint. <laughs> I just think they go together so well. And I'm super excited to watch her video. So when you guys are done watching this video, please head on over to my description box, click the link to her video today, and enjoy some more gingerbread fun. I well, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up I would really really appreciate it these were so much fun to make and they would make great gifts too 
Just saying. And I also like to thank you for taking some time out of your busy day to watch my video. That truly means a lot to me. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until my next video, stay healthy, safe, and strong. And have a great, great day. Bye-bye.